I'm just you know proud of our guys and, and just so happy for them. We uh, had a lot of um, adversity uh, from the injuries to the close games, to heartbreaking close games. And um, I'll be honest, today at shoot around, I just stopped it in the middle because I, I just said I thought maybe we were losing them. And uh, I didn't know if they had anything in the tank. And we, we talked about playing basketball. You got to have emotion. You got to have a fire, you know, competitive spirit. You got to have some fire in the belly. And uh, they they came out and played at uh, you know a high high level. Uh, you know we guarded, we held them to their low I think lowest point total. We held them their you know lowest field goal percentage three. Um, we did a lot of things, and then we you know you got to have people step up and be special. And you know between Wesley has you know a career night, 22 and seven assists, only one turnover, which was has been a, his uh, downfall lately. Dean you know. Got, came back in the real Dean Wade that we thought would uh, that we could have here all year, and I hope that continues. And then DJ's given us a new, uh, you know, I don't say a new, but he's gotten to a point where I think he's in a little better shape and, and can do some things. And, he, you know, we kept him in the game without fouls. Um, you know, he gets 12 and 8, you know, big time in 23 minutes. But it was still a good team win. Austin Budke, you know, Justin didn't start him, and uh, you know Barry has to handle the balls. You know, Stephen made a couple plays. And, you know, it was just a great team effort for our guys, and, and it's just, you know, we 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 knew it was possible. I, I think our guys, guys mentally, you start doubting, but uh, you know, we we got some things done today. I, I said you can't wish it, you can't, you know, just want it to happen. You got to go do it. You got to make it happen, and, and they they did tonight. So. Uh, it's fun. We go down in history, you know, it was five number ones for K-State. Crowd was unbelievable. It was great energy in the building. I think that probably has something to do with them not playing at, a, at quite the level. Um, and, and uh, you know, it also keeps us, our head above water and moving forward. It makes Wednesday night, uh, you know, even more important to, you know, we have a lot of opportunities to continue to get uh, top, top 25 wins, and it, it continues with Baylor on Wednesday. Yeah. What's different tonight? Well, I think we, you know, we came out and, well, the start of the game, we weren't very good, obviously, 9-0 to start. Um, I, I, you know, I think we, we talked about taking the game to them. We, we thought we could get to the basket. We could get by them um, and make them, make, make them guard us. Um, you know, both games, we, the first game, we took quick shots and, didn't, and we did that early in the game. Once we made them guard us and, and got, it gave, became more efficient in the offense, got shots off, it allowed us to stop. They're so good at transition. I mean, we showed films. It's like three sprinters trying to win the 100-yard dash every time. And, and those dudes are running. And, and so if you, if you turn it over, you take quick shots, they're flying down the court. And, uh, you know, I think we're more efficient on offense. Uh, you know, we made some shots. We made some big plays. Uh, once we stopped turning it over, it, it, it gave us a chance to – you know, get a, a great win. Uh, you know, there's no doubt that's a huge win for us, and a uh, lot, a lot of dividends off that if we do something as we move forward. Bruce, from the 16-minute media timeout to the 8-minute media timeout, you know, for you to find things. Yeah. Not about as well as you can do. Oh yeah, and we were worried at at halftime the coaches because we help our coaches help our players a lot and talk a lot, and you know, for them to have awareness and read things and. You know, we, our guys did a good job of whether it was staying in the ball screen, you know, getting hands up. We got some deflections, making the next play, scrambling out of them. And they, they got a little stagnant. And we didn't, in all that stretch, we were efficient on offense and didn't let them get in transition. And, you know, until Buddy got going and made a couple lefty crazy runners at the end, uh, you know, we really had, you know, we had, you know, during that stretch, like you said, we had really shut them down. So, you know, that's, it's impressive. And we've been, very, very good defensively, you know, at times in games, but we continued it through most of the game tonight, which was, which was important. That's what you need to do. You know, Kansas the other night, 35 minutes, you know, we played really, really good basketball. It's just the five minutes they, they outscore us 21 to nothing or 23 to two or something, you know. So, uh, you know, we hopefully a little more consistent on both ends. Well, he was special. I mean, there's no doubt. Uh, and and to beat, like I say, you need somebody to step up and and be special. Um, uh, you know, you know, you made that three. I thought, man, we're 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 in pretty good shape. And 
uh, but he, you know, made his free throws. He, you know, again, the turnovers. He, he, you know, he had to play a little bit of point when Barry and Corby, and he screwed up a couple plays. But, uh, you know, other than that, uh, you know, to play both ends like that, we, he was, you know, 38 minutes too. Uh, you know, we took him out a couple minutes in the first half. We kept talking about taking him out in the second half, and that's one of the reasons I took that one time out because I knew there was a TV coming up. And uh, would give him a chance to rest, but uh, he was he was big time. Then, you know, along you know, but you need somebody to be special. But these guys and the whole team did a great job. We it was a team win, there's no doubt. But Wes Wes spearheaded it. Where was the decision uh, in not starting Dean tonight? And then Dean, what kind of spark was that like for you? Well, it, one DJ has played well. That was one thing, and Dean hasn't played well, so that was one. And two, I just you know I. I you know, I've talked to Dean and I've talked to his parents and, you know, he knows that we, you know, just get a fire going. I, I said, I told him I used some not appropriate language for this thing, but, you know, get mad at me. You know, I, you know, I want you to be mad at me. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit you down and, and I want you to be mad. And because he just needed a little fire and, and, and he, you know, he came out, he made a shot, drove to the basket, just played a lot more aggressive. And, uh, you know, he made a big three because they're making the run to start the second half, and that three, and then the Roland replaced DJ ball screen dove, and they threw it back. West finally made that pass back, and Dean hit that low 17 footer, kind of gave us a little breathing room. But uh, and the same thing with Justin. You know, I just, you know, you haven't been playing as well. Barry's played well, so you, you know, give these guys a chance. And I said, if you, you know, play well, you're going to play. Justin still played 36 minutes, so. And, and Dean played 27, probably played more if he didn't get so tired. <laughs> um, I don't know, it just kind of let me feel the game more. I mean, just watching it, see, what, see how it's going, like the speed and everything, and uh, it just settled me down. It was a lot more comfortable when I came in. How mad were you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dean doesn't get mad. I don't, I wasn't. <laughs> hey, from last time. What has this journey been like at this point for you and uh, where can you go forward? Uh, it's been unbelievable. I mean, you always dream about playing the number one team when you're a kid in your driveway. Um, but it's just been it's been a good journey. I mean, been there in all the games and stuff. It's been fun. It's been unbelievable. DJ, you guys have come so close to getting that win against the ranked team. Now you guys finally feel like maybe a mental block was removed for you guys and uh, how was Coach's dad? <laughs> Um, Mad. No, nah, no, nah, he did great. <laughs> he did great. Uh, I thought, I, I don't know if it's a mental block on there. I think we've always had the, we've always had the focus to where we feel like we can beat any team. And we just haven't came and closed it out. And I feel like that this is kind of a shoulder, a lift off, a weight off our shoulders. And, uh, you know, Wednesday comes around, we don't have that much pressure on us and we can just play our game and uh, take down Baylor as well. Did you have Oh, it's good. I'd say it's good. I mean, do you feel like you're finally in the flow of basketball after all you've been through? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm getting my legs back on me. I'm, I feel like I'm a little more explosive than what I was when we first came, when I first started playing back. And um, so I'm happy. Yes. Oh, I just told him, you know, the KC Scott, you know, I said, Casey, can, you know, everyone else is storming. Why can't we storm? And, so I, he said, it's okay if they storm, but we got to have the players. We don't want them on the scores table. So I said, okay, we get the ball in. We win the game. I want everybody to go to Wildcat. We'll shake, we'll shake hands, and then the people we get the players off for Oklahoma and everybody off the floor, and you can enjoy it. And I'm not sure what happened. I thought I, I was kind of waiting for them to storm, but they didn't. But uh, that's fine. It, they still got to enjoy it. I think they would have liked to have been part of that, but maybe we can have that down the road. So it's uh, – you know, just and then today we showed a video about all the number num, times they K State's beat number one, and uh, at the end of practice I put them in the stands where the students are, and I said this is what you know you'll have a chance to for them to enjoy a, you know being part of a, a special legacy, uh, beating the number one team in Bramlage, and now they you know that's something they can remember their whole life, and but it you know I hope at the same time. Glad we don't play to Wednesday. Oklahoma's got to come back Monday. You know we got to come back, and we still got to you know we still got. Some important games coming up, including Wednesday night at home. Being at your final shot, 114 less than the clock, free throw line. Um, how 
how easy how easy was that? I mean, any, any jitters or by the time you hit that shot, I mean, you were pretty pretty aged against number one. Um, I was I was just I was just knew I was open, and um, I just saw the rim and just shot it. Didn't think about it too much, and it just so I was just comfortable. Just went in. Here's you get it. From the moment you got the or something like that. And uh, <clears throat> you're lighting up the devil. Tired. And I'll be the most Yeah, I've gained, uh, I think I've gained all of it back now. Um, I don't even know anymore. That was a. Yeah. Well, right now it feels pretty great. Um, to be the number one team in the nation. So I mean, it's just, it's great. I, you know, I, I love Lon. Lon is, uh, you know, a special case stater, a uh, good friend, uh, great coach, great human being. You know, does we do, uh, you know, he does an unbelievable job with coaches versus cancer and puts a lot of time into it. We we got a great group of case staters that, you know, uh, help with his event. Uh, you know, we are hoping to have a basketball family reunion in August before we go to Europe um, next next summer. And I sent, you know, we want to get all the players back, have an alumni game. And, you know, I... In the middle of the season, the email went out. Lon's one of the first ones to answer. I'm coming back, you know. So, uh, you know, and I, I, I really think if they can stay healthy and, uh, you know, it, and keep their confidence going, they, they got a chance to be a Final Four team. I don't think there's any doubt. Uh, but you know, it is. We, uh, we've had a good fortune being able to play pretty good basketball against them. And so I, you know, I obviously I'm happy about that. But I also, you know, care about him as a person and as a coach. And their whole staff, Steve Henson and Shep and all those guys are good, good dudes. And, and I love Buddy. I love their team. I love how they play. I love how they work, how they've improved. Uh, you you got to admire that. And I, I've told our guys, you know, we've, we've used all those guys' examples of where you can, you know, come from and, and how good you can get over the four years if you put the time in. Say I should have been starting a long time ago. <laughs> Why is that Coach Weber not starting me? <laughs> if he's going to do that, yeah, let's let's, let's do it. I, I like to see him. He, he's played he played with a ton of confidence today, and I like that. What kind of teammate is he? He's a great teammate. He's he's all never catch him in a bad mood. He's always positive, and I I think that's kind of like how my personality is. Like we're always in a good mood. Um, never really down, uh, and if anything does happen as far as uh, bad or something, he's always there to pick someone up. Do you ever talk to bad? <laughs> I think I did this one time, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how that it's went. Pretty hard. Yeah, it was, it was hard. Well, anything else for me? Then we'll get Wes up here. Coach, how important is it to get over? Uh, I, you know, I think DJ said, it, you know, it wasn't that we didn't believe. We just didn't get it done. It's little, uh, you know, one of the things we're not good at, little details, executing things. You know, we ran a play at the end of, end of the first half. Wes got the dunk. We, you know, we put it in this week because it was how they guarded something. And I was so happy we actually executed something and, and did something right and, and made a play. I think it gave us a good boost of energy going into, the, into halftime. But, uh you know, it's it's important that now they, but you still you got it. You got to earn it. You got to make it happen. I, you know, that was one of the quotes Jay did the video this morning. Uh, you know, Michael Jordan said, "Some people wish it happened. Some people want it to happen. Other people make it happen." And and that was kind of my theme. Then you know today that you you got to go make it happen. And we had chances against North Carolina, West Virginia, Baylor, <laughs> Texas. You know, we've had chances against a lot of people. We just didn't make it happen. Now we did. So. Uh, I hope uh, that, you know, that will continue. But, it, it, you know, we, like I said, we can enjoy today. They're off tomorrow. Uh, come back. we got to you know, get ready for Baylor because, they, you know, it's a tough team, tough to go against their zone. Uh, and, uh, you know, there you know, will be another chance to get a, another top 25 win.